Hi, I'm Glenn Davies, the training manager for Dharma Kaba, and this is our uh, D4550 door closer. We're about to do an installation uh, with parallel arm, and I've already applied the door closer body to the door, but up next now I'm going to put the parallel arm bracket up on the door frame. Okay, so I've got four screws to fasten here, and I'm going to uh, leave them a little bit loose initially, so I can get all four screws in easily, and then we'll make sure they're nice and snug before we finish. We don't want them coming loose uh, with, uh, with use. Now that all four are nice and snug, we're going to apply the uh, forearm to the parallel arm bracket, then we'll put the main arm on the body and connect the two. Now we're likely going to have to adjust this arm to fit correctly for this application, but I'll start out with a, a, a fastened on here and then I will I'll go ahead and adjust as necessary. Okay, now the call it a parallel arm because the arm of the closer should sit roughly parallel to the door surface. It's important though that we have what's called preload on this where it's basically wanting to close beyond the door so that we have some spring tension so that when it's fully shut, it actually does close the door completely. So we need to turn this bottom spindle with a wrench to be able to get that uh, correct position. If I put it on just as it is now, um, it won't have that uh, tension at the very end and it won't actually keep it shut. So I'm going to um, take the wrench and apply it to the bottom and rotate that about a quarter of a turn and apply the arm so it's now touching or actually pressing against the door. I'm going to bring the door partway shut and see if I can connect the two uh, arm pieces and see if we're even close to being where we should be. Okay. We are way, way off from where we need to be. You couldn't see that from your side, uh, but the arm is sticking way out towards me instead of uh, parallel along the door surface. So what I need to do is take that off I'm going to now fasten this uh, with a screw and washer, and I'll adjust the forearm piece. Okay, I'm going to loosen the lock nut on this arm so that I can gain access to the adjustment going to spin out this arm, lengthening it so that the uh, arm will reach the, ar the uh, main arm better. And instead of sticking out towards me, it'll lay flat along the door surface. Okay, let me give this one a try. Now that our closer is, um, arm is parallel when the door is shut, we need to tighten the nut down to make sure that the arm adjustment uh, doesn't uh, vibrate or come loose. And we'll tighten this down with a, a wrench. And finally attach the two arm pieces together with a screw and washer. That is our installation with parallel arm. Now let's take a look at the inside of this door and see how the arm lays parallel to the door surface. Now that we have our arm fastened uh, to the frame, 
uh, the uh, parallel arm bracket and to the closer itself, we can see that the main arm here is roughly parallel to the door surface. If I run my finger down behind it, I can feel the gap is about the same from one end to the other. That's where we want to be. Uh, we don't want it touching the door surface. We also don't want it way out here. That'll cause some issues with uh, our different uh, speed adjustments not being where they should be. Uh, this closer has already been adjusted and set up and we're good to go. Um, last thing we need to do with this is just snap the cover on. Otherwise the installation is good and finished. And we'll take the cover, place it over the body. This cover snaps on. There's also a stainless steel cover as an option. Well, that was our installation video for the D4550 door closer in a parallel arm configuration. Thanks for watching.